Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we're gonna have something really interesting to talk about. We're gonna talk about this guy right here, his name is Elliot Dermond. And the question is, why or how is he not a pro yet? Why is he not a professional bodybuilder, especially today when it is so easy to earn a pro card compared to any other time in history? So, this guy, Elio Dermond, is an amateur bodybuilder, and I gotta say he's for sure the freakiest looking amateur bodybuilder in the world right now. I mean, take a look at this freaking most muscular shot. This is just looking insane. This is looking ridiculous. I mean, the size of those freaking arms, and especially the chest, and like the way it all flows, you know, with the good abs and like pretty big legs as well. It's just, it's all pretty crazy, right? I mean, look at this. Look at that chest, damn. So it's insane that this guy is looking like this and he's not a pro. I'm gonna answer the question, why is he not a pro? But before we get to that, I gotta say it's very interesting that even today, in 2024, when classic physique is so popular and everybody wants to do the classic physique, everybody wants to look like Chris Bumstead, it's really awesome to see that there are still kids who think it's cool to get massive and freaky like this. And of course, it's not just this guy. Recently, a couple of months ago, we had a breakthrough of Rubio Mosquera, Nick Zilla, who blew everyone's minds when he showed up on that Prague Pro stage, whole world is talking about how massive he is. Then there is also Nick Walker, who turned pro recently, basically, 2021, a couple of years ago, and before he turned pro, while he was still an amateur, whole world was talking about why is he not a pro yet, everybody was confused, he was also extremely massive, even at that time, in this photo, believe it or not, he was an amateur, this was before he did the North Americans and earned his pro card in 2020, not 2021, but it was like the end of the year, so it was recent, and the reason why Nick didn't earn his pro card earlier was because he simply wasn't good enough. I mean, he was very close to winning it. The year before he won it, he was second at North Americans. He was very close to winning it, but still, he was very close to being good enough. The other guy was better. Nick wasn't as conditioned. So next year, he improved, came back, and won a pro card. Now, let's talk about why Dermond Elliott did not earn his pro card yet, even though he looks like this right now. Check this out once again, guys. The chest, insane. Look at this most muscular. Wow, wow. What the hell? Like the arms, the chest, the traps, the shoulders. He also has some really good legs as well. The reason why he's not a pro is as simple as he didn't even try. It's as simple as that. He didn't do a pro qualifier yet. He might do it this year, as he says. And if he does it with this freaking physique, I'm pretty sure he's gonna win it, I'm pretty sure he's got it, this guy needs to be a pro, he needs to be on the pro stages with a physique like this, with this much muscle, and the thing is, he looks short, right, like he looks like he's 5 foot 6, 5 foot 5, I don't know, like Derek Lansford height, or even shorter, but no, he actually told me he's 5 foot 9, and if you're wondering, could he be lying about his height? Well, no, this is a photo with Dom Cardone, his coach, and here is Dom Cardone with Rafael Brandau. Rafael is 5 foot 11, Rafael is maybe a couple of inches taller than Dom, and these guys are the same height, so yeah, he is 5 foot 9, even though he looks like he's shorter, because, first of all, he has so much freaking muscle, too much muscle on this frame, to believe that this guy is 5 foot 9, but yeah, apparently he is. He's 5 foot 9 and his weight right now in the offseason is 285 freaking pounds. And the craziest thing is that he is only 25 years old now. He is only 25. Look at this freaking chest. This is just ridiculous. There is so much freakiness about this guy. Look at his most muscular. This is so nasty. So, so crazy. This guy is gonna be one of the top freaks, I'm sure, at one point. And right now, once again, 285, 25 years old only. Only 25. This is a kid right here with so much muscle, it's insane. This guy is gonna be one of the top pros. 
Now, I don't like to do this, but if we are gonna break his physique down and look at his flaws, one of them would be his bone structure, his skeletal structure, and that is partly the reason why he looks shorter than he is. I think his legs are shorter than his torso, like he has something similar to what Nick Walker has. But Nick Walker got away with it, I mean, he did pretty good, so maybe this guy will as well. The other thing also would be his back, but that's pretty much normal, right? I mean, how many, like, good amateurs who are about to turn pro already have a complete back? It's extremely rare. Even in the top ranks, a lot of bodybuilders are lacking the back, and let alone the amateurs. So I'm sure this guy will make that back better. I mean, Nick Walker also, when he turned pro, his back was weaker, so was his chest, and I guess those are still his weak points, but he grew them so much, because he has the ability to put on so much muscle, so you can't even notice that those were his weaknesses at one point, and I'm sure the same thing is gonna happen with Elliot Dermond, because obviously he has a tremendous potential to put on tissue, if he's this massive at 25, if he figures out how to train the back properly, if he develops a solid mind-to-muscle connection, I don't know what is the issue here, it could be that, it's usually that, or it could be as simple as he needs more time, it's a weaker body part, everybody has a weaker point, and that point is gonna take longer time than the rest, so maybe it's gonna take him some time to fully develop the back and all the weak points, but even like this, with all this muscle, with, with this shape, with this structure, with this 3D freaking bubbly round muscle, he has enough to turn pro this year. Now, back to what I was saying, why is he not a pro? Well, he didn't do a pro qualifier, but he did compete multiple times. Back in 2021, he did three NPC shows, and he won the overalls at all of those three shows, but he wasn't as big as he is today, it's been three years. So even if he tried back then, he probably wouldn't get a pro card, not at the MPC Nationals or North Americans, maybe at some weaker show, but like it wouldn't be, he wouldn't be a good pro at that time. So he waited, he took some time, he grew a whole bunch of muscle, I mean look at him right now. When he wins a pro card, looking like this, being this big, he can immediately go and do a pro show, he doesn't need to wait a year to, to grow more muscle, he is there, he has more than enough muscle to compete against pros, I mean, we'll see what kind of conditioning is he gonna bring at the end of this prep, but honestly, even though I wanna see him peeled, I don't think he needs to be completely shredded to win a pro qualifier, so I'm pretty sure this guy is getting a pro card as soon as he decides to, and hopefully he will do it this year, because I don't think he needs to wait, he can just do a pro qualifier, win a pro card, and do the pro show the next day, like for example Nexilla did at the Prague Pro, and you know, do really well at a pro show if you ask me. But if you guys have a different opinion, tell me down below in the comment section, in my opinion, this is the most impressive looking amateur in the world right now, it's even crazy to say that this is an amateur physique. There are so many pros who are looking much, much less impressive than this guy, so this has to be... Probably one of the most impressive amateurs, like, of all time. I don't know many bodybuilders who were this impressive before they turned pro. I'm really curious to hear what do you guys think about Elliot Dermond and his future potential in the IBB Pro League. Whatever you guys think, please let me know down below in the comment section. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Give this guy a follow. His Instagram is gonna be in my description down below. If you guys enjoyed this video or you found it informative, please give it a thumbs up. For more videos like this, guys, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. See you soon. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.